collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and in this video I just wanted to discuss the hot topic at the moment that is the Haslab Rancor and how Hasbro have sweetened the deal and whether it's too little too late. Now as always I'd love to know your opinion so please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So the last time I talked about the Rancor was on Sunday's Ask Bosk's Bounty video which followed Friday's Hasbro live stream where they announced the final two tiers and showed off the fully painted Rancor. Now the reason I talked about it as many others have was the fact that after that live stream the project actually lost backers rather than gaining them. And from what I can tell there are a few reasons behind that. First of all I think a lot of collectors were put off by the base price of $350 and secondly the stretch goals offered weren't what the community wanted or expected. In many comment sections including my own collectors seem to want Ula and the Rancor Keeper rather than another Luke Skywalker and a very weird one which was the Salacious Crumb. And this I can fully understand even though the Rancor Keeper doesn't really interact with the beast and only has five seconds worth of screen time it seems obvious to me that if you have a Rancor, then you're going to want Malakili, the Rancor Keeper. After all, he was one of the original Kenner figures. And I think I mentioned this in my video, that the issue with this is that Malakili would require a newly tooled figure, and that I couldn't see Malakili being the sort of character that would be released in the mainline further on in, say, 2023. To me, this figure would peg warm big time, and for the average fan or parent walking down the toy aisle, Malakili just isn't going to be that must-have figure or something that you would buy for a kid for his birthday present. So I have to admit that on Tuesday evening when I read the press release on Instagram that Hasbro are listening to the fans and are now including Malakili, which at the end of the day will be a completely newly tooled figure, but as part of the base offering. I thought that was a pretty big deal, so at the end of the day if it gets to 9,000 backers, you not only get the Rancor, but you now get the newly tooled Malakili figure, not on a card back or anything, just in a baggie. So, as I say, this did surprise me quite a lot. I thought that they would do something to sweeten the deal. Maybe add like another tier earlier on or something like that. But to add him as part of the base price, I thought that was a big deal. Now, I must stress that it's much easier for me to commentate on this because I'm not really emotionally attached to it. As a rule, I don't really collect the Black Series. I buy the odd one or two figures here and there if it's something that I really can't pass on and the figure doesn't yet exist in the three and three quarter inch scale. But in general, the vintage collection is my thing, so I look at this without the fear of missing out. Now the reason I said earlier that it's a pretty big deal is because it kind of changes the rules and may in fact set a precedent for future HasLab projects. It's almost like collectors could hold off committing until Hasbro give them what they want. So let's see if the inclusion of Malakili has had the desired effect and moved the needle. I believe before the announcement, the Rankle had the backing of around 4,850 backers, roughly. This was after it had lost nearly 500 backers after last week's live stream. So now we're at roughly 5,145 at the time of recording this video, which means it's recovering slightly, but at present is not getting the required numbers to get this funded. With three days to go, it will need roughly about 1,200 backers per day. Now, of course, there could be a huge rush towards the end as the fear of missing out crowd back it. But usually the people backing it late through the fear of missing out only back something once it's already funded. Because obviously there is no fear of missing out if the thing isn't getting made at all. Shortly after the announcement of Malakili, I put a poll on my community tab on YouTube. And as at the time of recording, it currently has around 830 votes. I basically asked all of the Black Series collectors if the inclusion of Malakili would sway them to back the Rancor. And 14% said they would back it. 72% said they wouldn't. And 14% said only if all tiers were met. Now I know 830 people is a pretty small number to gauge things on, but it still gives you an idea of what people are thinking. Maybe the inclusion of Ula was what was needed to really push the needle, or maybe the Rancor just isn't something that the Black Series collectors wanted. Part of me feels that Hasbro really wanted to offer a HasLab dream item to the Black Series community, and as super large vehicles have already been ruled out, they had to come up with something, and this is what you got. As I've talked about previously, the original idea behind HasLab was to bring dream items that wouldn't be able to be sold at retail. So the barge is most certainly one of those. There's no way 
you could have sold the barge at retail. The box is absolutely huge. Be lucky to be able to fit it into somebody's car. Perhaps the Razor Crest could have been sold at retail. I'm not too sure. I'm thinking maybe if it was a retail item, we wouldn't have got the level of detail, but that's just me guessing. So is the Rancor a dream item for Black Series collectors? Could it have been a standard retail release or maybe through the fan channels or something like that? I'm not so sure. So that's for you guys to decide, especially the Black Series collectors out there. So is the Rancor something you would expect to be sold at retail? So what happens next? Will Hasbro increase the deadline so that it's not affected by the holidays or by other HasLab projects? Will they have something else to add to it? Could it really end up not being funded? One thing is for sure, if that happens, I can't see another HasLab Black Series happening anytime soon. But hopefully that won't have a negative effect on the vintage collection with two very successful projects already completed. After all, there are still some dream items like the Sandcrawler or the Death Star. So I really, really do hope that this does not affect the vintage collection in any way at all. Anyway, guys, I've rambled on for long enough. I hope you've enjoyed the video and my thoughts. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm really interested to know what you think. Are you going to back the Rancor? What will the future be for HasLab projects if it doesn't get over the line? Let me know. As always, thank you to all my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support is hugely appreciated. Thank you, the viewers, for watching. And we shall see you on the next one.